Hey there everyone, this is Tom from Montac here doing the weekly Montac matchup for the 22nd of July. Joining me this evening, we are going to have the first ever Rookie Division Champion. Shadow Galax Wolf is here tonight. How are you doing, ma'am? And how excited are you to be the very first uh, Rookie Division Champion? I'm doing good and I'm, and I'm out of the moon, honestly. I'm so happy I finally got a champion title. Yeah, how did it feel to, um, obviously you did that Tarotion Guard play right at the very end, especially considering how that was uh, a method where you lost to Squishy previously. How did it feel to actually do it to someone else and then that actually sync up your victory as well? I honestly felt bad, but at the same time felt good. <laughs> I'm starting to, you can see how Squishy would have felt then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, I can't really get mad at Squishy anymore. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. I think they'll be uh, glad to hear that. They're also making their debut this weekend as well, so that'll be interesting. Um, but speaking of the title you've just won, you're going to be defending it this weekend against Gusion, uh, a pretty aggressive player known for their bandit plays. Uh, how confident are you going into this matchup? Uh, and do you feel like you can really handle a lot of those aggro OTK strats? I believe I can. Um, I believe I got what it takes. All right. Do you think the match will hit extra time, or do you think it will be resolved before then? Uh, probably hit extra time. Okay, nice. Uh, it should be interesting to see how you deal with those bands. Obviously, you've got some really nice dragons, plus the Trimus buff. Uh, I think you're pretty well equipped. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Well, uh, on top of your title match, we're also going to see a contender match between Darmacos, obviously expected to use bandits again, and Mini Smoke, who's been experimenting with Pug Bandits. Now, a bit of an interesting little strategy there. Um, out of the two of these players, are, is there anyone you rather verse out of the two, or is it more of just whoever comes is the one next? I guess whoever comes is the one next. Yeah, fair enough. Um, obviously, the matchup with Darmacos in the semifinals of the uh, June 2022 tournament. Is there any part of you that wants to correct that loss? Uh, yeah, a bit. I will admit, it was a bit of a downfall, but I think I've got what it takes to come back. Alright, very nice. Um, as we approach the Pro Division, we're going to see Misfire versus Lucky for the very first time. Obviously, Misfire is one win away from challenging for the Pro Division title. Um, how do you feel about this matchup? Obviously, Misfire is probably going to be using potentially a Crime Partner Impact deck and Lucky using Gamblers. Uh, you've got experience with both players, I believe. Um, who do you think is most likely to come out on this, based on your previous experience? Um, well, it has been a while since I've versed Misfire. Um, mm -hmm. so, oh, it's been a while since I've versed both of them, but I feel like I've had more difficulty with Misfire than I did with Lucky. Okay. So, I do believe that Misfire might come up top with this, because mm -hmm. I... I believe, because Misfire, I believe, has been working on their strategy for a very long time. Was it Misfire one of the originals as well? Yes, they, they came in a little bit after you. Um, mm. So I definitely think that just because of time and experience that Misfire might take this. But it will still be very close. Ooh, okay, well that'll be incredibly exciting. Um, obviously, like I just said, they'll be, if they win, Misfire will go for the title. But speaking of the title picture, the other title in the uh, Montag TCG competition, the Pro Division, we're going to see Sparrow taking on Charging Badger for the very first time. Obviously, both players you're familiar with, both players uh, you enjoy playing. Um, how do you see this match going down? Obviously, Sparrow known for a lot of variety, a variety of different strategies, and Charging Badger, of course, the OG Sky Soldier. Um, do you think they got? Do you think they have what it takes to get it done, or do you think Sparrow is going to continue their win streak? I honestly feel bad if I pick a side here, because <laughs> like, like you said, I've versed them so many times. But like, the see, here's the plus side: if Charging Badger lasts long enough for me to t come and verse him, then the title match is mine. Because well, mm -hmm. the turn system. But like, Sparrow's Sparrow seems to have like the newbie or newbie-ish kind of luck and has been very much so just absolutely obliterating targets so it could be anyone's game honestly okay fair enough um 
Do you think the match would hit extra time, or do you think it's going to be resolved before? And as of course, Sparrow is known for FTKs. Uh, I believe maybe extra time, but I don't oh, feel. I feel as though if it does end up in extra time, it won't scare Sparrow. I see. Okay, so it seems to be a little bit of potentially a grindy match. Um, gosh, that is a pretty close game. But uh, yeah, no, that'll be incredibly exciting. I'm really keen for these matchups. Uh, thank you for giving your picks. Uh, sorry to make this one a quick one, but it's great to have you on once again, especially now as a champion. So uh, that is fantastic. Um, is there anything you'd like to say to all the Shadow Galaxy Wolf fans out there before we have to finish up? I guess stay loyal and keep watching because I'm coming to the champion of the champion division. Alrighty then, you heard it here first. She's aiming for pro as soon as she defends her rookie title. Alrighty then, uh, thank you for coming on, and I hope you have a great week. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Thank you. This has been Tom.